Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create kelp and jellyfish for your digital diorama using the scribble tool and some basic shapes. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is select the scribble tool and place it on the work plane. This brings me to a drawing plane where I can use a brush tool to create a shape that resembles kelp. So I'm gonna left click and then just drag my mouse to create a shape that resembles kelp. When I unclick, I get a preview of the shape and I can decide if I like it or if I wanna discard it and create a new one. I'm happy with the shape, so I'm gonna move on by clicking done. I'm back on the work plane and I want this to resemble kelp, so I'm going to shrink this down to three millimeters so it's a little thinner. And then I also want to rotate it 90 degrees so that it's vertical. When I rotated the design, half of it went below the work plane and half is above. So I need to correct this by selecting the shape and raising it up so that it's sitting at zero on the work plane. I can rotate around to make sure that everything looks good. I wanna make this a little thinner to resemble kelp. So I'm gonna just bring this in a little. I'm happy with this shape, so I'm gonna change the color to green. And now I'm gonna use the duplicate tool. I can do control D or I can use the toolbar and duplicate the kelp. And I'm gonna bring that one out. If I hit duplicate again, it's gonna remember the amount I separated them and it'll keep separating them by that amount, which is a pretty cool feature. So now that I have a few to work with, I want some variation, so I'm gonna shrink some down. I'm also gonna rotate them around. So some of them are facing in different directions. And I'm gonna make some taller. And now that I have multiple options for kelp, I can duplicate some more. And then I'm gonna move on to make the jellyfish. If you haven't guessed it already, we're gonna use the shape we've created for the kelp for the jellyfish tentacles. I'm gonna duplicate some of the smaller ones. I just wanna make sure I have plenty of variation for my diorama. Now that the kelp is done, I'm gonna come back to the basic shapes and I'm gonna select the half sphere for the top of the jellyfish. So this is too large. I'm gonna shrink that down to, uh, let's go 10 millimeters for each side and the top. I'm gonna go five for the top. So I need to raise the half sphere up or the top of the jellyfish up so that I can fit the tentacles underneath. And then once I do that, I can move these over and place them right underneath the top of the jellyfish. I'm 
I'm going to duplicate some more just so I have extra. And I think I want to have about five tentacles hanging down from the bottom or from the top of the jellyfish. So I will select one and just keep duplicating that. And I'm just going to move those around until I like the way that it looks. I'm going to adjust just a little to spread those tentacles out. And that looks pretty good. So I keep that. I'm going to group these. up here on the toolbar or you can do control G and then I can change the color and now I have a jellyfish I can resize the jellyfish making it smaller or taller and then I can also duplicate so that I have multiple jellyfish to work with and add to my diorama. I'm going to create a couple variations. And now we have a few different sizes of jellyfish and I can keep duplicating from there. But I think that's enough for you to be able to make your own, have fun, 